30 of the worst villains, horror characters, and generally terrifying offerings of the human race are going to do battle here in the horror rumble. Every single 30 seconds, a new atrocity will enter the ring. You're eliminated when you're thrown over the top rope with both feet touching the floor and we're going to see who's going to be standing tall as the ultimate villain and as the ultimate horror supremo. I'm in 60 Sean. First off we've got Ghostface from Scream heading up the spookiness. It's drawing number one. The odds are against him to survive to the end but I'll tell you what I would not want to have drawn number two in this Royal Rumble scenario in what will probably be the most terrifying Royal Rumble that we've ever done on this channel and in it number two someone's got to marry me I'm single you weren't going to be married you want anyone in this ring to marry you mate I don't think any of these any of these guys are going to be husband material as in comes Jason To the untrained eye, you may think that it's the revived corpse of H2O Delirious. But Jason is in at number two for this horror rumble. Facing off against Ghostface from screen. Allow being in this rumble. I say you don't. I said that you wouldn't want to draw number two, but when you're Jason, I think any any number is absolutely fine for you. And he is walking slow with a purpose, looking at Ghostface through those cold, dead eyes. And who knows what rumble-based debauchery we are going to be treated to here. And here we go, Ghostface versus Jason in the opening stages of this horror rumble. Ghostface managed to wriggle out of that one, almost got eliminated early and managed to reverse it. Right hand to Jason, kick to the midsection. Again, Jason came in too fast in this. Ghostface with a running, twirling DDT. As already our next. Oh my days, as allow it. Oh. <laughs> Pennywise, the dancing clown making his way to the ring courtesy of the game MLL. Check out his channel. He is responsible for a lot of the horror characters that we're, we're going to see in this rumble. The dancing clown dancing his way to the ring and now opening fire on Jason. We've got Jason, Ghostface and Pennywise in the ring. Is, is Ghostface is doing some sort of cheerleading. Number four is Michael Myers. He's seen a revival in the box office, but is he going to see that success translated to the Horror Rumble? In toss by Pennywise. Kick to the quadriceps. And on Pennywise eliminate the first one out of this Rumble, courtesy of Michael Myers. Right hand. My Myers dodging out Jason with a shot straight to the liver. That is an upset, I feel, that Pennywise to be eliminated at this early stage. Michael Myers in a flying clothesline. Number five is Leatherface. Leatherface making his way to the. Oh my dilly. Going for a choke slam here. Big choke slam to Ghostface. And there's a take down from Leatherface. The Ghostface versus the Leatherface. And the base got the side strength advantage, big clothesline, sending Ghostface sprawling out of the ring. Michael Myers with a kick to the midsection. Back hill trip now. Next one in is number six, it's Bendy from the Ink Machine. Bendy, no stranger to the N60 ring. Has been victorious in these rumbles before. In at number six. 
still a long way to go against some truly terrifying opponents. So now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Two jumping, two so far driver to Leatherface. Irish whip from Bendy, sending Jason into the corner. There's Leatherface now, going for the power bomb, big power bomb. Oh, he's not finished yet, he cuts the arms. Going for the second power bomb, we're going to see a third here. Leatherface using that strength to, with a triple power bomb to Michael Myers. Number seven now is Darker Flyer. Rumours are running rampant about the return of Antiseptic Eye in season 10. And now Darker Fire picking his spots, not just getting straight into the mix, just sizing up his opponents. As Michael Myers is eliminated by Leatherface. And Jason managing to battle off Darker Fire. And Darker Fire not with the strongest of starts in this horror rumble. Bendy working on the quads of Leatherface, trying to knock down the Giants' vertical base. If he can't stand up, he can't attack. But is, is Bendy going to have the power to not Leatherface over the top rope? He has it. At number eight is Antiseptic Eye. Are we going to see an Antiseptic Fire reunion in the Horror Rumble with Darker Fire and Antiseptic Eye both in the ring at the same time? Are they going to be able to work together? And Bendy, he's got, oh, he's got to be going for the ink machine here, his signature manoeuvre. We've seen him hit this a stack of time in the past, and Antiseptic Eye is not going to want it to start this rumble in that way by taking Bendy's signature manoeuvre. And no, it goes back to worse for Antiseptic Eye. Antiseptic Fire is Darker Fire is eliminated in number nine. Freddy Krueger's making his way to the ring. Kruger, it's actually signaling for the end, right hand, another right hand from Jason, sending Kruger flying with that side straight as Bendy from the ink machine gets to his feet, but walks straight into the waiting ground, grasping arms of Antiseptic Eye, Antiseptic Eye with Bendy on the ropes, running power slam from Jason, oh my days, Freddy Fazbear, in the ring. And Freddy Fazbear. Sizing up Bendy. A rivalry between the Five Nights of Freddy's crew and the Bendy and the Ink Machine characters. Former teammates of the villain in the villains from season nine. A lot of the, these villains who have been in exile since the close of season nine after the villains were defeated by the heroes. First time some of these guys have been seen in a ring since. Could the winner of this rumble be making a comeback, be making a feline? Oh my, that clown. Oh, oh and that, thank, thank goodness for Freddy Fazbear backhanding that clown. Antiseptic Eye in trouble. Oh, it takes a super kick and Antiseptic Eye is eliminated. And oh, Bendy's in trouble as well. As Jason, who's been in since number two, good showing from Jason, has just taken out Bendy. And the clown has just eliminated Freddy Fazbear. And now number 12 is Jack O'Lantern. Oh, I mean, that's just, a, that's just a guy with a big old pumpkin on his head. Yeah, it's just a big old pumpkin in Daniel Bryan's shirt. <laughs> Jason in trouble. Jason who's had quite the show in this one, he's just chinned the clown. And this pumpkin might have a short stay in this rumble. Jigsaw sent into the corner. Dipsy, oh, and, uh, is there any more turf button in a Teletubby? I don't think so. Probably the most terrifying character we've seen in this rumble so far as Dipsy has made his way into the ring. Dipsy could be making an elimination as Freddy is eliminated and Dipsy and the Clown, Bobby the Clown looking to send out, looking to send out Jason but not this time. 
I mean, as if Jason's going to get eliminated by a Teletubby after everything he's done. Can we get more terrifying than a Teletubby? Yes, we can, because Jake Paul is making his way down to the ring at number 14. Jake Paul, what can he do here in the Horror Rumble? As Bobby the Clown gets dragged onto the turnbuckles, and now Jake Paul went for an arm wrench, but Bobby the Clown managing to reverse it. The Clown now has got, could Jake Paul get eliminated early doors here, but gets hit with a Samoan driver. And Dipsy and Jason are really sort of going at each other here, quite the rivalry between these two. As we're now at the halfway point, number 15, probably the most terrifying, psychotic, actual wrestler that you're gonna find in any company. It's number 15, is Jimmy Havoc. Whilst most wrestlers will have a traditional weapon like a steel chair or a sledgehammer, I've seen this guy take a felon ax to the ring and Jimmy Havoc, more than rightfully, earning his place in the Horror Rumble. And Dipsy has actually finally eliminated Jason and Jake Paul's eliminated the clown. We've got Dipsy, Jake Paul, Jimmy Havoc and a giant pumpkin thing in this Horror Rumble. It's been taking quite a turn here. Maybe not one for the horror purist, but still nice times nonetheless. Reverse waist lock from Dipsy and number 16 is Mega Shark. And now we've got a representative from the Heroes Division in what is predominantly a Villains Rumble. We've got no actual, no one who was in the Heroes and Villains War currently in the ring. Jake Paul, who hadn't been seen pretty much throughout that entire season. Probably the only N60 regular in here at the moment. Jimmy Havoc, who's featured sporadically. We've never had a Teletubby in a match before. I can tell you that. And oh, I thought I thought Jake Paul was going to get eliminated by a Teletubby then. And next one in. Who is this coming in now? It's, oh, it's Chucky. Chucky coming in and dropping the face buster on Jake Paul. Double. Always going for the double chops, big super kick, and Jake Paul has been eliminated. Big problems for Jake Paul, and now Mega Shark from face lock here. Chucky dropped with a suplex, and Jake Paul, I don't think knows what happened to him here. Now we got we got we got sharks versus pumpkins here. We've got a shark, we've got a pumpkin, we've got a doll, we've got Jimmy Havoc in the ring, and I think the shark's going to go for a ride. Big choke slam. As number 18, I'll tell you what's terrifying. If you've been watching our Dan TDM My Career series, you will know that there is nothing more terrifying. Or if you've been watching any of our My Career series, there's nothing more terrifying than a conversation with Baron Blade. And Baron Blade flexing. Mike just trumped that. And oh, he's been hit by a... Baron Blade's been hit with an RKO from Bitsy from the Teletubbies. That's an actual thing that has just happened on this channel, people. And oh, I thought he was going to hit him with a pedigree. But no. Number 19. We're going back old school. The Undertaker. In the ring. Old school Undertaker as well. Straight. Oh, an old school Undertaker. Not really being the Undertaker of 91. Went straight in with a leg drop attempt. But absolutely nobody home. And he might be looking to eliminate Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy Havoc versus The Undertaker is a match that I would very much like to see. And I think that's pretty much what would be the result. Is Undertaker dumps out Jimmy Havoc and Mega Shark's been dumped out by Chucky. And Baron Blade might eliminate Dipsy. Baron Blade and The Undertaker are working together to eliminate a Teletubby here. But Dipsy, man, he's... Fair play to Dipsy. He's holding his own in this rumble. Baron Blade stalking the pumpkin. What is that? Dipsy just spat a red mist. Not sure how I feel about that. And number 20, The Undertaker's brother Kane. Are we going to see a, the reuniting of the Brothers of Destruction in far less controversial circumstances? The Undertaker's brother Kane surveying the scene. Goes straight for Baron Blade. 
And oh, I think Baron Blades in big trouble here. Kane has got him by the throat. Kane could be looking to eliminate Baron Blade here. And Baron Blade is chokeslammed all the way over to the top row, but we're not going to be seeing a reuniting of the brothers of destruction here as Kane is placed on the top rope and could be looking to be eliminated by his own brother. But not this time. Kane with his trademark, waiting for a trademark sidewalk slam, but nobody home. Undertaker knows that move too well. And his little brother scouting. Catch, he's at, he's at Kane on a toast here as the Undertaker. One step ahead for every maneuver. And number 21, Bray Wyatt. As Chucky has eliminated Kane, Kane didn't really even get out of the blocks. He probably stunned that his brother had just turned on him. And now we've got a rematch from WrestleMania 31. Undertaker and Bray Wyatt facing off. And oh, Bray Wyatt walks straight into the tombstone pile driver. And now the Undertaker just de delivering, absolutely delivering some ungodly right hands to the face of Bray Wyatt. That pumpkin is in trouble. Number 22 is Papa Shango. Papa Shango on his way to the ring, the voodoo master. Has he got anything up his sleeve? Dipsy from the Teletubbies is still in this Royal Rumble, people. That is a thing which is still happening. I saw this take a, a brief moment to reflect on that. Now we've got two iconic horror legends from the WWE, a modern horror legend, a horror legend from the world of cinema, and Dipsy from the Teletubbies. Deal with this situation, Papa Shango. This is Shades of Poop Man in the Heroes Rumble in number 23, a more modern horror based WWE character is Finn Balor. Finn, who was featured on the channel before in a video that we did with Sasha Banks. And Bray Wyatt has eliminated The Undertaker. Bray Wyatt, in re sweet revenge from his WrestleMania 31 loss, has eliminated The Undertaker. As Finn Balor made, you cannot get eliminated by a Teletubby. That's immediate thumbs down on my ch video, mate. If you let yourself get eliminated by a Teletubby, thank goodness for that. If you haven't already, smash that like button, just like Finn Balor just smashed that Teletubby over the top rope. And Chucky looking to eliminate Papa Shango, and he does. And a big Yurangi slam from Bray Wyatt. Oh, 24. I think this is my pick to win. 24, Nemesis from Resident Evil. Oh my days, this guy is seven foot four and he is probably the most terrifying character that we've had in here. And we've got big problems with Bray Wyatt, big problems with Chucky and big problems with Finn Balor. Bray Wyatt not showing any fear. The new face of fear. Mate, is this gonna, this will be the most, no. Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, are you serious, Bray Wyatt? Nemesis is out of there, straight away. Holy smokes. I thought Nemesis was gonna clean out. But he's eliminated by Bray Wyatt, his spring truck from Five Nights at Freddy's. Has appeared in the ring. Not quite so terrifying. So is his uh, Five Nights at Freddy's brethren. Freddy fans bear. Terrifying, nonetheless. Finn now sending Spring Trap over the top rope. And Finn feeling that energy. And 20, 26 is Pugnacious. 26 Pugnacious. Coming into the ring as Chucky has eliminated Bray Wyatt. I'm not sure why Pugnacious is in this horror rumble, to be quite honest. I mean, a pug with, hu with a human body, human arms, acid wash jeans, and a, and a vest. That is quite horrifying, actually. Can you imagine if you saw that, just walking down the road? I think that's the sort of thing which would scar me for life. So maybe Pugnacious does deserve his place in the horror rumble. <laughs> and Timmy Terror is in at number 27, a staple of the villains, a staple of the heroes division, and a staple of the group which seems to be causing chaos 
in season 10 in the N60 universe as Pug Nature's with a right hand to Timmy Terra. And Timmy Terra has been eliminated straight away by Pug Nature's. Maybe too concerned with what's going on in season 10. But Timmy Terra, as quickly as he arrived, has been dumped out by Pug Nature's. Huge, huge season Pug Nature's. Number 28, another creation from the game MLL. Um, Twisted Wolf who also featured in our Alexa Bliss Reacts to Your Career Wrestling video and Twisted Wolf looking to make a huge name for himself by winning the Horror Rumble makes a good start by eliminating Finn Balor Can Twisted Wolf see off Pugnacious here who is in fine form and who's not Twisted Wolf down with a clothesline Twenty-nine, and he's probably you see what happened to Timmy Terra and signal to Pugnacious that he is going to get his revenge here, or not, Mister Mister Man. Bad night for Terra eight eight seven, and who is coming out at number thirty? Number thirty. On their way down. And number 30 is Slenderman. And Slenderman, who was victorious at N60 Mania, makes it into the final three here. Slenderman, who is still technically under contract in the N60 universe, when he won the Heroes vs. Villains 15 on 15 Immunity Battle Royal now has a chance to continue his N60 career with some momentum behind him by winning the Horror Rumble but he's got Pugnacious and Twisted Wolf who's just tried to use the Twisted Bliss shades of his appearance on Alexa Bliss's video gets taken out with a belly to belly suplex Slenderman going straight for Twisted Wolf it's a very dog orientated rumble. So, so many dogs appearing in my videos, man. Pugnacious swinging a kick. You can already connect him with those kicks, Pugnacious. And Pugnacious slowly but surely falling over the top rope and is then eliminated by Slenderman. It's Twisted Wolf. Gets back in the ring just before Slenderman can see him out over the top rope. Twisted Wolf and Slenderman facing off in the final two here. Right hands are from Twisted Wolf. A huge win for whoever manages to get their opponent over the top here. Slenderman in a world of trouble. Twisted Wolf with all the momentum behind him. Slowly getting Slenderman to his feet. It's, well, can Slenderman make it? Two big rumbles in a row here. Side brush and leg sweep. From Slenderman. Slenderman who eliminated Braun Sprout in the final stage to the Heroes versus Village Rumble. Oh, and what elimination! Seeing out Twisted Wolf and Slenderman victorious in the Horror Rumble. Guys, smash that like button if you did enjoy this video. Slenderman momentum. Slenderman will be having eyes on his next victim in the N60 universe. I've been N60 Sean. We'll see you for the next video.